All right, so to disassemble a Latitude 6320, first remove the battery. And then there's just a series of screws on the back to remove. So first start with the top left. Start unscrewing it. I cut out some of the screw job so that this video could go a little bit faster. There it goes, unscrewing away. I think it takes PC3 RAM. I've lost track of the names of RAM over time. Maybe I, did I say PC3? I think DDR3. You gotta get those screws down at the end there, the ones that hold the hard drive in place, because they also hold that plastic back in place. Looking at about 10 screws to remove. And then you just pull the back off and that'll reveal the RAM slots as well as the WAN card, the Wi-Fi card. And uh, there's the RAM chip. That's the one we're going to take out. Because I put a 4 gig chip in. I only have a 32-bit operating system on this laptop. And I can't use any more than... 4 gigs on 32 bit and it was 6 gigs in there so I replaced it with a 2 gig chip so there's two 2 gig chips in there for a total of 4 gigs of RAM which is the max for 32 bit operating system putting the back back on and we'll just kind of speed up here as, as we put everything back just put the screws back on same order you took them off So that's about all there is to it. I just powered it back on to uh, make sure the RAM chips were observed. And uh, looks like we're in business. So this is a relatively easy laptop to disassemble. Other than there was a lot of screws on the bottom. Older models had less and you could just get that back off. But it's not so bad. It's not that often you have to take the back off anyway. So the Latitude 6320 was a pretty decent laptop.